So tell me about the Xperia Arc. Well, first off, the Xperia Arc is a beautifully designed phone. You can see the, the beautiful curve there, very thin there in the, in the middle, and tapering out on the sides. Beautiful look at, but also very very nice to have in hand, whether you're holding it in, in portrait, single-handed, or if you're doing something and holding it uh, two hands with, with landscape. It runs on the, the latest version, Gingerbread, of the Android operating system, the Android platform. It's very responsive and fast due to the Qualcomm 8255 uh, chip in there. Uh, the CPU actually uh, uses a lot less battery than the previous version, the 8250. So while it's still a one gigahertz uh, uh, chip, it, it actually has a lot more battery efficiency. It has uh, five home screen panes. You can see if you're familiar with Timescape, we still have yep. a version of Timescape there. And you, But you can load widgets and shortcuts to your heart's content, but that might be a little bit unmanageable for you at some point. So what you can do on the home screen is do a pinch and zoom, and it brings everything together from all those screens, and you go, okay, I have, this is everything that I have here, and then you touch on one, and it'll take you back to that res respective screen. Speaking of the screen, we have what's called the reality display that's powered by the Sony Mobile Bravia engine. It's the same uh, imaging engine that you get in the Bravia TVs. So it's a very important asset that we're getting from Sony and, the, and their technology. You see here I have my, my gallery here showing photos and videos. Uh, let's go into the video specifically though, and we'll show you a really good example, Final Fantasy, of the, the contrast and the color reproduction that you have here. A lot of detail here. What the Sony Mobile Bravia engine will do is give you greater color management, uh, greater uh, noise reduction too, so a lot less digital noise that you would see. Very clear image and very sharp as well. So it's a uh, 4.3 inch display? 4.2. Or 4.2. 4.2 inches. And the reality display also incorporates a, a, a very airtight seal uh, around the phone that, that blocks out any light between the glass and the LCD. So it's performing brilliantly here, but you take it outdoors, it's going to be less reflective right. because of that and be brilliant outdoors as well. And so on the sides, you showed me USB, just to get an idea of what was on the side. USB, right. volume rocker, camera shortcut button. Yes, on, on this side we have uh, the camera button. Moving up you have the, the audio volume keys, which also double as a digital zoom for the camera. And then you have the USB connection. And HDMI. On, on the top. top you have the HDMI connection, the power key. And then on the other side you have the 3.5 millimeter audio connection. What's the camera on the back? Is it the, the camera is 8.1 megapixels okay. and, and, and 720p for your video record, Good. HD. And you have an LED flash as well there. But, but what's important to note for low light conditions, another important asset that we have from Sony is the Exmor R for mobile camera sensor. And, and again, that's something we're inheriting from Sony from the, from the, the cyber shots and right. the handy cams. And where the Exmor R performs best, it's giving you brilliant photos all around. But where the, the biggest advantage of it when you use the Exmor R sensor that's built in there, under low light conditions, it's going to give you uh, brighter images. It's actually going to give you twice the sensitivity. I think I'm covering up the camera with my finger. <laughs> there we go. Uh, it's going to give you twice the sensitivity of conventional CMOS sensors, but with half the digital noise. So you're going to get really brilliant images outdoors, as well, of course, in bright sunlight. But when you're in low lit conditions, it's going to perform very well as well. Fantastic device. You said one gigahertz processor. One gigahertz processor, correct. Okay. But it's the 8255. So, you know, some folks get hung up on, on just the number. You have to understand, you know, that, that as they can continue in the series, you might have more efficiency there. So, we, for example, we use the 8250 in the X10. The 8255 is a 1 gigahertz as well, just like the 8250, but it's more efficient for battery and, and faster for graphics and, and video. Right, and what do they call on the, uh, I can't think of the name of the Sony Ericsson uh, user interface. Is it, um, do they have a name for it or is it just... We refer to it as UXP right. in the past, but I, I think we're, we're simply calling this right now the Xperia uh, UI. Okay. So, so Android, uh, the gingerbread being great all on its own, we do some enhancements to it that just they give you a, a signature experience that enhance the usability and just the pleasure uh, of using this device overall. You know, we, 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 our, our drive is to make the most entertaining
entertaining smartphones, and we consider this to be the ultimate multimedia uh, smartphone. It has a great HDMI experience, too. Uh, when, when you connect uh, the HDMI cable, the TV doesn't even have to be on. It'll power on the TV. Uh, and then the TV recognizes the device, and the device communicates, hey, uh, take us first to the photos and videos. Cool. And, and I, I can show you a little demo of that. If yeah, you so you're going to show me a demo of it, plugging in a, via HDMI Yeah, so I can, I can just introduce the topic. Yeah. Uh, you can see, uh, so coming at the end of quarter one, no carrier partnerships announced just yet right. for no, markets. No, well. no specific markets, no specific carriers, but the first markets will see it in uh, the, the end of Q1. Okay. So, I've connected the HDMI cable. The TV didn't even have to be on. If it was off, uh, the, the, the device would, would wake the TV up. But what it's going to right now is the last content that I was playing, right. uh, Final Fantasy. And you can see the comparison there between the two screens. So just a, an effortless kicking up and showing content. Now, if I, w if I hadn't been previously looking at some content, what it would introduce to me is the gallery. So it would go into the, the, the photos and the videos. Let's say I wanted to watch photos. And, and something really interesting, a little bit of waving there with the acceler accelerometer oh, yeah. motion. But uh, let's say, let's, uh, let's pick this picture here. And it's going to render it up on the big screen, full screen. Oh, wow, yeah. And then I can slide. In a slideshow. Now, and it, the, the cool thing is, I can do this with the remote control on the TV too. So yeah, so I can sit this by the TV if the cable's not that long. I can sit on the couch with the remote control, and I can look through all the photos. Now, one thing I can't do is something like a pinch and zoom. Obviously, I can't do that right. <laughs> with the remote control on the TV. But I can do this here. Can pinch kitty in. Exactly. But I can play my music. I can play my videos. I can do a slideshow of my photos, all with the remote control of the television. And not only is it my photo and my videos, but I can also see the whole UI of the phone. Now, we don't have any uh, Wi-Fi connection here right now, but if we did, I would go in and I'd go on the internet and I'd do browsing or I'd play a game or something like that, I'd go to Google Maps. Do you see any opportunities in the future to perhaps dock that or plug it in and maybe with a keyboard or something of that nature too? Great idea. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, but I mean, so, the usual, so, yeah, the so you know, no, while, while a lot of phones have HDMI connectivity now, right? If they have a, a you know HD camera, what they don't have is this more robust solution here. It kicks on the TV, tells it where to go initially for your photos and videos. It's effortless, uh, and then you, you can control it with the remote control. You can also see the entire user interface of the phone. So if I want to play Angry Birds and have everybody watching me play it and cheer me on or tell me what I'm doing, I wrong, saw Angry Birds. Yeah. I, I saw it on your demo phone. Did not say anything. <laughs> <laughs> That's the most important app I have. <laughs> there you go. There you go. Much more coverage to come on the uh, the Sony Xperia R, and uh, just more Sony coverage in general and CES coverage in general on PhoneDog.com. So be sure to check it out. Keep it locked on the site for continuing coverage. Live from the Consumer Electronics Show in Las Vegas. I'm Aaron. We'll see you next time.